Once classes start, I'm not going to drink because I'm going to be studying all the time. But then what happens is there's not parties every single night of the week, but they're on the weekend and they're a lot more hardcore and there's a lot more alcohol and you'll drink too much then and you don't get anything done on the weekend. And um, so first semester, my grades were definitely a, a reflection of what I didn't do and what I did do. And um, even though like I knew God was there for me during like my first semester, I went to, there was a Bible study in my dorm, but even though I went to it, you have to, what you want to get out of it, you have to put in. And whenever I went there, I was just going to have that good girl appearance and to make it look like, you know, I'm not some party girl or whatever. And um, so the Bible study, I wasn't, I wasn't going for the right reasons and I just wasn't letting God reach out. I wasn't, I guess I wasn't reaching out to God because he's always there for me. And um, so I would definitely say first semester, alcohol controlled me. Um, I didn't have any control at all. And um, so I kind of, I kind of um, had some bad incidences with the drinking too much. And um, that led me to sort of realized that I couldn't, I couldn't keep doing this, but even though those bad incidences, it was more of whenever I came home for spring break, I was back immersed in um, what I was used to, my church, and I had started reading scripture again, and I just started longing more for that, and you cannot have alcohol and God. It, they just will not go together because alcohol makes you do things that God doesn't approve of, so you have to choose. And at this point, I chose God. And um, since then, it's not easy. There's temptations all over. And um, I have a few scriptures that I want to share with you on um, temptation because there's some that help me realize that, you know, it's something everybody's going to face. But with God, we can get through those temptations and you don't have to fall into them. So, um, let's see where I want to start. Um, Hebrews 2.18 says, Because he himself suffered when he, is, he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Hebrews 4.15, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, because we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Um, James 1.12 Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial, because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. And uh, 1 Corinthians 10.13 says, No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. And that last one's one that really, really reached out to me because it's saying that God's always there for us. Um, and that when we are tempted, God's going to, he'll provide you with a way out. Um, just recently, there was a weekend that I knew um, some of my friends were going to go to a party. And I knew that um, like they would be drinking and everything. But God was there for me and he provided me with a way out. He was like, Kendall, why don't you just go home? Then you're not putting yourself in that position where you'll have to be tempted. And that's one of the main things whenever you get to college. Don't put yourself in positions where alcohol is going to be an issue. Like, if you don't go there, then you won't have to be tempted. You won't have to deal with it. And, um, so, like, since, then, since I've cut alcohol out <coughs> and chose God, I've, um, I'm back on a spiritual high and, um, I have found out that you don't have to have alcohol to have fun. Um, there are plenty of people in college. I guess I might have made it sound like everybody in college is drinking, but that's not true because I've met a lot of people who can play Wii and go to movies, and you can still have a ton of fun and, like, no headache in the morning, and that's so much better. And um, so, like, this summer, I, um, well, I guess since I took alcohol out and chose God and everything, I felt led to 
serve God this summer. And um, so I'll be leaving on May 27th, and I will be in New Orleans for two months this summer um, serving God at a place called the Baptist Friendship House. And I'll get to work with girls ages 9 to 18. And, like, I know this, like, God allowed me to go through this um, problem with alcohol so that I can be able to reach the girls that I'll be working with and hopefully reach y'all here tonight. I hope that as I'm done talking, y'all can realize that when you go to college, there are so many other options than alcohol. And I pray that each one of you will turn to God and just look for ways out rather than taking the easy road. You know, find God and let him lead you down the right one. Thank you.